In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a registration guide for every single time that you're going to print during this semester. You can make this out of any materials, preferably something that's cheap and inexpensive. If you have access to a roll of craft paper, this would be an excellent source to create your registration guide. If you don't have a large roll of paper, you can use a flat sheet of cardboard, or if you have one, I'm not saying go out and buy one, but if you have one, a white poster board. You will need to make probably a couple of these throughout the semester. They're quick and easy to make, so once you've done one, the next one is faster and faster and faster. But if you should happen to get ink where you don't want it to in the margins, and you're not able to cover it up with tape or cover it up with another piece of paper, you're going to have to recreate these. So don't go out and spend a lot of money on your registration guide. Now, we've kind of kept it simple for the semester. All of your paper that you're going to be printing on is 12 by 18. So the first step that you want to do is take out one sheet of paper. You're going to lay it down anywhere along the surface of that sheet of craft paper or that piece of cardboard. And you're going to trace the edge. It's going to need to be dark enough that you're going to see it. So, I recommend either a fine tip sharpie or a black ballpoint pen. Work your way slowly so that the paper doesn't slip and move. If it does, make sure to make sure it lines back up on your lines. Because this needs to be as accurate as you can get. It doesn't need to be a thousand percent accurate. But just to give you the idea of where you're going to be placing your paper and your matrix each and every single time so that when you print your ink will deposit exactly where you want it on your piece of paper that will be your print. One more line to go. There. Now if I remove the printing paper, you can see you have a dark black outline. That's the same area as your printed paper. The next step that you want to do is to mark out where you're going to place your linoleum, your matrix. Now traditionally, you have the same margin on your left, the top, and your right hand side. The bottom of your print typically has a much larger margin. It just kind of creates a visual balance so that your eye leaves the blank space up here and comes up to the image. Your left, top, and right are the same so that no one will distract more than the other from your image. So it's kind of by design. Later on, if you want to play with this towards your last projects, that'll be fine. But for the first several projects, you're going to need to maintain the same left, top, and right margin. Your paper is 12 inches wide, and your matrix is 8 inches wide. So if you take 12 and subtract 8, that will give you 4. And if you divide that by 1, 2, that will give you 2 inches. So what you need to do is take a ruler, measure in from the edge, make a mark for 2 inches. Come down a little bit, make another mark for 2 inches. Come down a little bit, make another mark for 2 inches. Now we make several marks because if we make one or two, we might be out of alignment. We might go off at an angle, but if we have several of them and the majority of the dots line up, then we know that we have a straight line. We're going to measure from the top down two inches. Make a mark, move it over a little bit, make a mark move it over a little bit, make a mark. So now we have two of those edges. What we can do 
we can now take our linoleum, place it up against those marks. Okay. These are lining up and the ones at the top are lining up. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my pen and run it along the edge of the linoleum. Now, I already know mathematically 2 and 8 and 2. So I don't need to measure here and I don't need to measure from the bottom. So I'm going to take my lines, place them on the other two boundaries. Okay. Now we know where to place our matrix each and every single time that we're going to print. After we've inked it up, we can place it here, come over, place our paper within the margins. There we know that our paper is going to land on our matrix pretty close to where we want it every single time. In order to get even more accurate, you should also take your paper, which is 12 inches wide. If you divide that by 2, that's 6. That will give you a center point. So I'm going to measure down, marking with a pencil pencil because this can be erased. Remember, this is a paper that you're going to print on. You're going to need to mark the center line on each of your prints so that you can get it to line up perfectly. Close is good, but if you can get it spot on every time, you're going to save yourself a lot of work in the end. Now I have a center line on my paper. Now I need a center line on my registration guide. So I'm going to measure from either side, the left or the right, I'm going to come in six inches and make a mark at the top. I'm going to measure in six inches from the bottom and make a mark. Okay. Now when we put our paper on top, we won't be able to see it, so we're going to need to extend that mark to the outside of the box. Same on the bottom, same on the top. So now you can see on your paper you have these marks, which can be erased so you won't see them in your finished print. You can line them up at the top of the guide and at the bottom of the guide so that when you print, you know for sure that you're going to be in registration. Your colors are going to line up. Your ink is going to deposit squarely in the center of the page. You're going to have an even margin on the left the top and the right. Now remember, if this gets dirty enough, you're going to have to replace it, so don't worry, don't freak out. You saw it was really quick to make. If you have questions, please contact me.